Welcome to the Constitution Show, brought to you by the American Constitutional Rights Union, dedicated to defending the constitutional rights of all Americans. Here to dive into our National Owner's Manual, the Constitution of these United States in a fun and practical way, I'm your host, Tom McHale, with co-host and producer, Joe Armacost. Hey, Joe. Hey, Tom. It's been a while. It's good to get back together and do another show. You caught know, me taking man. the glasses off. <laughs> well, I can't see anything without mine, so I, so I understand. We're staying on for the for the duration. Mm-hmm. Hey, I, w- I was uh, I was thinking recently. I, one of those random thoughts that just pops into your head. I remembered a little interchange between our current president and a uh, I think it was a union worker during the last presidential campaign. I believe this was back in 2020, sometime. And uh, I think we've got that clip, don't we? Okay, so we're we're picking on uh, Uncle Joe here, but uh, you know what? I think well, it's, it's far too many politicians of of any political party uh, tend to forget that actually they do work for us. I mean, yeah, right? Yeah. I mean, okay, so we can't, you and I can't call them up and say, hey, you know, I need you to do this for me. It's not, doesn't operate under individual orders, but collectively, all of us together, they do, in fact, work for us. And uh, you know what? That kind of leads us into today's topic. Individual or natural rights theory demands a voluntary arrangement with government. So that's what we're going to talk about today. This is a a consent based constitutional republic. Yeah. And, uh, you know, hey, that's a mouthful, dude. Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's let's break it down with a with a, an easy analogy first. OK, I'm yours, bro. So, you know, let's just say I'm sick and tired of mowing my lawn and making the grass look good. Right. So I can enter a consent based voluntary arrangement with little Jimmy. We'll call him little Jimmy Husqvarna down the street, right? He's the he's the neighborhood lawn boy, and I can pay him 25 bucks to mow my lawn. Uh, he can come do that. You know, I'm happy. Jimmy's happy. The Neighborhood Association is happy because my lawn looks pretty good. Yardy um, Vardy Varna, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Wait, you remember Husqvarna? Don't they make lawn equipment or something? So anyway, so we're, so we're all happy. It's a win-win situation, and I think... I think we could see how a voluntary arrangement like that uh, is kind of good for everybody. It like, you know, raises the tide for for all of us. You know, the the takeaways are it's voluntary. uh, It's for all our benefit. And guess what? Since it's voluntary, if little Jimmy gets distracted by discovering girls or video games and starts slacking off and doesn't edge anymore, uh, I can unhire him, too, because it's a voluntary arrangement. Right. So. Let's take that. Let's take that to something a little more, a little more constitutional in nature. We're going to build on that analogy. So our constitution is really a a voluntary consent contract between the people and the government, and they do that for their own good. Just read the first few letters of of the uh, preamble to the constitution. The first few words: "We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect." union okay so so the whole point of this thing is we're going to make society better for all of us right and i like to i like to kind of pick out the word union in that statement because union is definitely a a voluntary concept there's there's no concept of uh of union in a dictatorship is there so so anyway so just like this mowing the lawn example uh, we've constructed the constitution for the betterment of our society so and i think the next part of the preamble really defines what that means. And that says to establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity. Right. So let's let's unpack that. What is that? What does that really mean? It means that some things we voluntarily choose to allow to happen centrally government functions, right? So uh, I'm going to dream for a minute. Let's say I have a a nice multi-million dollar beach house, right? Right on the ocean. And we're all a little bit concerned that maybe one day Norway is going to invade. So, you know, 
under the concept of natural rights and property rights, I have the right to protect my property from a, a Norwegian invasion, right? I could build a wall, I could build a fence, you know, I could do all that stuff and I could hope all my neighbors do the same. But, but you know what? It probably makes a lot more sense to kind of say, Hey, you know what? I'm going to kind of lend those property rights to the government and they can, you know, they can protect the whole Eastern seaboard from Norway, right? I mean, it seems kind of silly to do this kind of thing individually. Or uh, you got porch pirates, right? You know, if I wanted to build a prison in my backyard specifically for porch pirates that that steal my Amazon packages, I could do that. But, hey, crime and punishment is a a societal issue, right? Um, it makes a little more sense for us to kind of lend some of that power back to the government so they they can run a legal system and courts and you know prison for porch pirates and all that stuff so we've kind of we can kind of recognize i think pretty easily that things like national security and crime and punishment are really more efficiently handled centrally for the benefit of society as a whole so we voluntarily cede our individual rights to things like property to the government so so let's look how this let's look how that preamble closes. Do ordain and establish the Constitution for the United States of the America. So there we have it. We choose to do all this stuff. We document it in the Constitution. That's our that's our voluntary contract with how the government's going to run and how they report to us. So the bottom line is simple. We agree to be governed because it makes sense for all of us. We wrote the Constitution to codify this agreement. Now Important point, Joe, the government has to behave because the people are only voluntarily to agree to be governed as long as the government doesn't act like weenies. Oh, yeah. Well, they tend to act like weenies way too much. <laughs> yeah. Yes, they do. And you know what? That's where voting comes in, because that is our way to, you know, under this voluntary system to Fire the unweaning un decisions is what we exactly talking. exactly every two well, years every four years depending on uh, what elections we're talking about yeah. we have the ability to say hey we are displeased with how you're handling the rights that we have loaned you so behave yourself so Joe the government does in fact work for us because it only exists because we agreed to lend it some control in the first place yeah, well somebody ought to tell Joe Biden. <laughs> and all the others. In fairness, we're picking on Joe, but boy, this is a universal problem. So basic concept. We're going to build off that in future shows, but uh, that's enough for today. Thank you for joining us on the Constitution Show. Remember, we're in charge of this country. And while it doesn't seem like it at times, we're in charge of the government as well. Until next time, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Share it with your friends and family. And if you got something to say, drop us a line at the Constitution Show at the ACRU.org.